In these problems, we're dealing with some of the cool properties of parallelograms. And you might already know that the top and the bottom of a parallelogram, these two sides, are going to be the same. And maybe you know that the other two sides are going to be the same measures too. So if this one's 6, this one's going to be 6 up here. If this one's 5, this one's going to be 5 over here. So that's always true for parallelograms. They have two sets of parallel sides of the same measure. Another cool thing about parallelograms is that the opposite angles, so the angles that are across diagonally from each other, are also the same. So if this guy's 84, this guy's going to be 84. And whatever this guy is up here, this guy's going to be the same down here. In this first problem, it says find the missing measures in the figure. Well, u, that's the top, it's going to measure the same as the bottom. So u equals 6. w, that's one of the sides, it's going to measure the same as the other side. So W equals 5. And V is the angle opposite of the 84 degree angle. So V is also going to be 84 degrees. And that's all there is to that. Let's try one more. This one's a little bit trickier. It says if the measure of angle B, so this one, equals the measure of angle D, well, that's going to be true because they're opposite from each other. And D equals 82. OK, so both of those are 82. Find C so that the quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Now this is a little bit trickier. The thing that you should know is that all of the angles together in a parallelogram, well in any quadrilateral, are going to add up to 360 degrees. So if I take 82 plus 82, it's 164, and I subtract that from 360 degrees, I'll have what's left over to share between A and C. Okay. and we get 196 degrees left over. And we want to split that between these two, and they're going to be the same. So all I have to do is divide that in two. So I could take 196, divide it in two. So that's 98 degrees and 98 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with some of the cool properties of parallelograms. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can find us online at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.